Well, looking back over your career, you had a great career with, with Lancashire and England. Um, you played with some great players and, and, and in some great teams. What stands out the most for you when, when looking back over that time? Well, I think that period from around about 1988 when we won the Refuge Cup, that, that heralded the start of a, a great degree of one-day success for Lancashire. They'd been very successful in the late 60s, early 70s. They'd had a barren period, really. We'd won one trophy in 1984, the Benson and, um, Benson Edges Cup, yeah, in 84. Um, but 88 heralded the start of um, an era of Lancashire cricket the like of which we haven't seen since that period in the late 60s, I think, when we had uh, Fowler, Mendis, Atherton, Fairbrother, uh, Watkinson, Hegg, David Hughes as captain, Jack Simmons played at the, the latter end of the 80s. You had De Freitas, Akram, myself. Uh, it was a really top-notch side, and we won, we won in 88, we won the the, uh, the Sunday League in 1990, then we won both knockout cups in, in 1990. Uh, the first side ever to do that. Um, I mean, I, that, was, that was a really fantastic period. It was coming towards the end of my career, but uh, I really, I thought that was the, the best time to play at Lancashire. And of course you went on beyond that to be part of the successful side right the way through the 90s. But that, that period, that latter, Four or five years of my career was the most uh, meaningful, I think. They were fantastic times, and you've mentioned some great cricketers there, uh, you know, true Lancastrian uh, legends, so, so to speak. But, but if you were to name one player in your whole career, and you were always a senior player, I always saw you as a senior player, but if you were to, to name one player over your career that's given a, a major impact on your game, who would that be? Mm, it's a tricky one. I, it didn't have to be a batsman because... There are very few batsmen that I felt impotent about bowling to. In other words, I didn't really know what I was going to do next or how I was going to get him out. One that stands out is Viv Richards, because Viv was just imperious. He was uh, lord of all he surveyed. He had a swagger, a touch of arrogance, and quite rightly so. It wasn't misplaced in any way, shape, or form. He was just really, really good, as good as anybody I've ever seen or bowled against. But I think if you're going to have one guy from England who I would have liked to have played for Lancashire over the period, it would be Graham Gooch. Because I think Gucci was such a hard worker. Um, he's a, a loyal guy to Essex's county, and I think he would have been that if he'd been a Lancastrian as well. And uh, he was able to play in all sorts of different ways. He could be stoic, he could be... Uh, solid, he, he could block for the world, but he could be dynamic as well. And I'd like to have seen him at the top of the order at uh, some time. That yeah, he'd have, he, he, he been a fantastic addition to any team, but to, to see him in the, in the red rose shirt would have been would have been something special. Batting at, uh, at Old Trafford on the, on those the bats. I'm not quite sure who he'd have come in place of. We'd have had to drop Atherton or Fowler or Mendis, but. <laughs> We'd have found a spot, a spot for him somewhere. Absolutely, and we, t we talk about the modern day game, and if there's one player that, from the modern day game that you would have liked to have seen, or liked to have played with, or liked to have seen come here to the Red Rose County, who would that be? Mm, but, uh, well, I think you've mentioned modern game, so my mind automatically turns to one day cricket and T20, um, because I think that, that is going to be one huge future for the game. T20 with people wanting instant entertainment from a cricketing basis. So I'd go for, I'll, I'll go for Brendan McCullum at the top of the tree because I think he's done more for world cricket, New Zealand cricket, than any modern day player. The way that he got the New Zealand team to perform, they performed with spirit, with fun, with aggression, uh, with daring, with dash. Um, and he led the way, basically. I, I just thought he was totemic in the way that he led the, the modern, the way the modern game is played. 